Preloaders, VI Preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. And you know this, or at least you should by now. For those of you that have never been here before, my name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant. I did a wonderful 22-year career with the NYPD. 15 of those years spent with the elite NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle unit. The name of this wonderful channel is called Robert Simmons, Paying It Forward. And on this channel, I share my knowledge, experience, and training that I received from the elite NYPD Highway Patrol Motorcycle Unit with you guys, the motorcycle riding community, with a special focus on slow speed motorcycle operation. That's operating your motorcycle between the speed of one and 10 miles per hour. Why do I focus on that? Because 98% of you guys have no clue what you're doing in that speed range. And that's why you feel so uncomfortable when it's time for you to slow down and stop and forget about a U-turn, right? That's what we cover primarily on this channel. I offer private lessons and practice sessions. If you're interested in either one of those, go to this website right here at the bottom of the screen and check out practice information and or private lessons, and it'll tell you everything you need to know. I also do product reviews and product installs on my motorcycles, and I do videos on anything and everything that I feel will be helpful and beneficial to my subscribers, AKA preloaders, and VI preloaders, all right? So if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, again, people that are here for the first time, come on aboard. This is Preloader Nation. This channel is all about positivity. Um, yes, we go over motorcycle stuff and we wanna make sure everybody is safe and they know what they're doing, but there's no arrogance on this channel. There's no negativity. There's no judgment. Nobody's gonna make fun of you about anything. Dropping your motorcycle is par for the course. If you wanna get better, you're gonna have to, at times, drop this bad boy but if it's properly protected you'll be fine but you just need to know that everything is okay here this is an each one teach one environment and if you want to be a part of this hit the subscribe button become a part of preloader nation also if you want to be a part of this positivity on facebook you can join my facebook group preload and keep it loaded all right guys so for today this is my girl um this is valiant valiant is my 2019 cvo street glide and Valiant is outfitted with, look at these cannons right here. You see these cannons? These are tab performance slip-ons. These are 50 caliber tab performance slip-ons. These have the zombie baffle on them. Valiant's a beast. Valiant also has a full tab performance headers on it and she's a stage three. So she sounds the meanest of the four of my motorcycles. All four of my motorcycles have tap performance on them. All four of my motorcycles have the 50 caliber pipes. These things are just awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, but one of the motorcycles, my limited right here, this motorcycle has the 50 caliber pipes, but with the Louvet baffles, all right? So they're more subdued, but all of the other ones have the zombie baffles in them, um, and they just sound amazing. Of course, this one right here is just, it's off the charts. And if you guys are interested in, um, looking at the videos that I did with the install of the tab performance and the headers and stuff on this motorcycle, as well as the others, I'll put it right up here. This is a playlist of all of the videos that I've done on tab performance. Just love this company, love their product, and um, love the fact that not only do these pipes look amazing, but they sound great. So they look as good as they sound. All right, that's what I'll say. They look as good as they sound. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about a product that um, tab performance has come out with. And when I say they've come out with it, it's not a new product. They've had the product already, but it is new to this particular slip-on because this slip-on is new, meaning the 50 caliber slip-on. They make this product for the 4.5 inch pipes. They make it for the four inch pipes. All right, but today I'm focusing on the 50 caliber ones because that's what I have. And I wanna go over it with you. And this product is gonna take care of two things. One, if you have a pipe that sounds as good as these zombie baffle pipes do, usually you're gonna give up a little bit of uh, power or torque, all right, because a lot of air is being allowed to escape. Um, but this particular product is going to restrict some of that air, which should give me a little bit of boost um, in my torque, but it's also gonna make this look a little bit more appealing too, so you don't just see a hole right there. 
and we'll see how that looks. I want you guys to let me know how you feel about it. Comment in the comment section. Uh, which do you prefer? Once again, a lot of these things are going to be way different in person than on video. That includes what you see and what you hear. All right, let me show you what this product looks like. All right, guys, so this is the box that this comes in. And this is a very, very easy install. All right, guys, so this is what this looks like. You can see there's a Z right here, all right? That's for the zombie. And that's the design, but this is the part that you'll see. This is the part that goes in here, and it's gonna be going into the hole of the, uh, the exhaust, and that's what's gonna give you the restriction. And this is very easy to install. You can see that there is one, two, three, four. So there's a hole on all four sides of this. And that's what's gonna make this so easy because all we have to do, we don't have to remove the slip-ons from the motorcycle or anything like that. Um, but all we have to do is remove the tips and the tips are only held on by two screws. One's right here on the inside and one's down here on the bottom. Take the cap off and then we're going to put this where those holes were, right? Two set screws and then screws that are provided by Tab Performance that are a little bit longer, we're gonna use those in the other two holes. And the reason those screws are longer is because they have to go through the, the uh, end cap and this piece right here, all right? So it's that simple and then you just put the cap back on, put the two screws back in, good to go. But of course you wanna use some Loctite. So let me give you a close up on what we're gonna be doing. All right guys, so before I give you a close up on what we're gonna be doing here, um, I do want to say that one of the biggest appeals about the zombie baffle is how they sound. Yeah, these look great, but the sound is just, to me, it's unparalleled, beautiful. If I hear a motorcycle with tab performance with the zombie baffle, for, I don't care what kind of motorcycle it's on, I'm gonna know those the tab performance uh, slip-ons with the zombie baffle. So I don't want to sacrifice that sound, so that's part of the question I'm gonna have here. Putting these things on, is it gonna take away some of that sound? So um, I'm gonna start this up. I'm gonna let it idle um, for about, I don't know, 10 seconds. Then I'll hit the throttle a couple of times. And so I, that way I can get you guys to see how it sounds now versus how it's gonna sound after I put these Z rings on them. I'm also gonna put a decimal meter on the screen so we can not only hear it, cause sometimes you can't hear it, but maybe we can see if there's any difference. If it's a slight difference, but I get a little bit more torque, I got no issue with that at all. All right, let's do it. guys so again in the box we have uh, two of these of course two z-rings here's the other one wrapped in paper and you have set screws and this is what you're going to be using and they come in black and chrome just in case you have black pipes and of course instructions so the instructions say the only tool you're going to need for this is an allen wrench and it's a 532 Allen wrench. And again, the only thing you have to loosen are two screws to get the cap off. Okay, so I've taken both of the screws out that are holding this end cap on. So now, with those two things off, we can just pull this off. And you can see on this end cap, clearly you can see where one of the screws was there and then at the bottom, one of the screws here. But you also see that there's another hole on the opposite side and another hole on the top side. So those are the holes, the ones that we weren't using, those are the ones that we're gonna use for the set screws that we're gonna be putting in here. All right, so next thing is to just take these, right? And this is gonna go, again, with the Z facing out. And if I, just in case you guys didn't know, the reason that this holds all around this end cap is because you can put this end cap like this if you want to. And some people might like that look, right? But I like it to be like this so that the end cap is in line with the, the uh, contour of the, uh, the saddlebag. And for people that have 
motorcycles where both of their pipes are on the side, you can also put it sideways like that. Of course, you wouldn't do that on this type of motorcycle with stretch bags, but you could do it, you know, if you wanted to with, um, a, motor or with a Harley Davidson touring bike that doesn't have stretch bags. I mean, I, I wouldn't do it, but it's, it's a possibility. You could even do that too, which <laughs> I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but you have that option. Okay. And now we just have to take this and fit this in here, line up the holes where the set screws are going to go. Again, we're doing the set screw in the top and on the outer portion, which is over here on this side. And once that's in, we'll put the screws in, put it back on. All right, guys, so just in case you didn't know, a set screw, that is a screw that just is meant to set inside. So um, one end, which the directions don't tell you, that actually takes a one eighth inch um, Allen wrench. And they call it a blind set screw because once you put this ring inside of here, you can't really see where the hole is. So you gotta, you gotta kinda line it up and make sure that when you screw this down, now you're supposed to screw this in so that it's, uh, it doesn't protrude through, because obviously if it protrudes through, you won't be able to get this in. So have it just above where the uh, threshold is, and that way you can push this in, and then just keep screwing down until it goes all the way down. And once it starts to go all the way down, then don't put it all the way down. Check the other side too. Put start screwing that one and make sure it goes all the way down. Now I have these set screws all the way in here already, um, but I still want to make sure that this is lined up, which it looks like it is, and that this one is still lined up. Ideally, it should be if those two are in, but just in case. So now all I have to do is put this back on the motorcycle, back on those pipes, but I'm not going to use this screw that came on the motorcycle, I'm gonna use the longer screw because now this has to go through not only the end cap, but the Z-ring. And so I'm gonna take the wash off of this one, put it on that one, put that to the side, and I'll do the same for this. And then this is just gonna go back where it was, right here. And then this one's gonna go down here. All right, let me put it back on show you guys what it looks like and then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side but this is how the other side of it looks so again this is the side that's going to be going toward this inside of the hole on the slip on right and this is the back side and i got to tell you guys but without it being on the motorcycle not bad at all and i didn't think i was well let me put it on the motorcycle first all right guys tell me what you think that's one of them on Full disclosure, guys. I'm gonna leave this one on the screen because I just want you to look at it. Look at the one on the left versus the one on the right. And I just want you to look at it. And I am gonna tell you, full disclosure, when I um, when Casey, Casey is um, one of the owners at uh, Tab Performance. Um, and when he brought this to my attention, and this is the way they always are. This is another reason why I love this company. And you guys know how I am, and I let uh, Casey know this as well. And it's one of the things that he found appealing about me, and I found appealing about them. It's the authenticity, right? Um, there's no phoniness, you know. I don't have a phony bone in me, and I and it's hard for me to even try to be phony. So that's why I always tell you guys, I'm always going to give it to you right down the middle, be 100% honest with you, and give you my exact opinion on anything I do a video on. So when he first told me about these. I didn't think I would like them. Like, you know, I thought it, looked, it would look a little gimmicky. Again, I, I only saw a picture of them. But like he said, like he always says, I'll send it out to you, put it on, see if you like the way it's, it looks, and then we'll also see if you, have a, you get a little bit more torque, see if you feel a little, a little difference in, your, uh, in the power on the motorcycle. Um, and guys, I'm looking at this right now, and now that I see the one on the right versus what it looked like on the left, not only do I like it a lot, I mean, I really like it, but the one on the left, now it looks like something's missing. <laughs> you know, I tell you guys all the time, you can get used to anything, but it, it literally looks like something's missing on the left side now. And if I had an option of which one do I want to go with, the look on the left or the look on the right, I'm going to pick the look on the right all day. All right, guys, you've looked at it long enough. Let me get the other one installed 
and then we can look at them both but not and but more importantly I want to hear it I'm very curious to hear if it's going to change my sound so much so that I'm going to say eh, what do I want the sound or the look and a little bit more talk all right let's do it all right guys so here it is both of them installed just take a look at it for a second or two or five or ten I love them I love the way they look and you know what again this is very subjective some people are gonna say I love it some people are gonna say I like it some people are gonna say I hate it <laughs> I don't like it at all right but that's the beauty we all have options I like it being it's different and sometimes difference good sometimes difference bad in this case for me the difference is good so good that I might put these on all of my motorcycles well maybe not all I won't put them I probably won't put these on or uh, angel and actually maybe I will if they're in black I will why not all right I like the way they look all right I want to give you guys a closer look at them and guys another thing I like about these is before before you put these in you can see the holes that go around the edges of it right so it makes it look unfinished Whereas now this actually covers those holes and it's utilizing two of them. So that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, I definitely like them. They really look good. All right, now more importantly, let's hear how they sound. guys did you hear it I heard a difference and I guess the difference I heard is maybe a little bit of the higher pitch of the snap crackle and pop has been diminished it's still loud it's still very loud so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it for a quick ride um, not only to see if I feel the difference in any any increase in torque uh, but how it sounds riding it because everything's different when you're riding it and again just like i told you guys everything's different um with how this sounds in person versus on video all right let me take it for a ride i'll tell you guys what i think Right, guys so here's what I'll say believe it or not I did feel um, some extra torque right off of the line um, in first gear and second gear uh, a little bit in third so I definitely felt a difference but um, more importantly at least to me I hear a difference right and the difference I hear for me is not better than what it was so I, I do appreciate the look of them I appreciate the extra torque but this is one of those things where, again, it's subjective. It all depends on what's most important to you. Um, and I'm not a numbers guy when it comes to these motorcycles. Again, this is a, a touring motorcycle. This motorcycle was not built to be fast. 
and that's why I bought this type of motorcycle. I, I don't want it to be extremely slow either, um, but it's plenty fast the way it is with or without the extra torque. So for me, what's more important, it's that sound, right? That sound is the, uh, the attention getter. It, it just, it does something to me. So I'm gonna live with these for a little while, see if I, you know, you, you know, you can get used to anything, but you don't have to get used to something that you don't really want. And that's the case with these. They're easily removable, just like they were easy to put on. So I'm gonna recommend this to you guys because A, if you want some extra torque and you have the 50 caliber pipes, bam, yeah, this is for you. And I just, it just looks better to me, right? So, and there's the conundrum, right? Like, it's like, <laughs> oh boy, that's, that's, that's the thing. What do I go with? Do I go with the look and the extra torque? With these, I'm getting two things. Without them, I'm getting one thing, which is the sound. And to me, the sound is probably the most important. So um, I'm going to leave them in for now because I definitely like the way they look. And I do like the way I need to do some more riding with them as well. Right. That was just a quick ride that I did. But I need to actually do some more riding, get on the highway and, you know, get on regular roads and ride. And uh, but I already know just from that short ride, the sound I'm used to hearing when I hit my throttle. It's just not the same with those. It's not the same, nor, sh nor is it expected to be. I knew it wouldn't be the same. The only question here was how different would it be? All right, so again, I want to thank Tab Performance for providing me with these so that I can try them out, share it with you. All right, guys, so it's important that I mention that these Z-rings are not going to be available for sale until May 16th, all right? So I don't want you to watch this video and then go to the website and look for them and think that you can purchase them because you can't purchase them right now. Again, May 16th, these will be available. Um, Tabperformance.com, go to the website. I'll put a link for it right here at the bottom of your screen. Um, and check them out, good stuff. Um, and again, I am gonna recommend them if this is something that you guys want as far as the look and the torque. Keep in mind, it is gonna change your sound a little bit, but it depends on where your sound was. The reason I tried these on of all four of my motorcycles, I tried them on Valiant because Valiant was the loudest. Right, Valiant has the most power going out. So I would hear it more so on this motorcycle. Maybe it'll sound different on one, maybe it'll sound different on your motorcycle if you just have a stock um, 114 or whatever and you just put some slip-ons on with a zombie baffle. That might sound different, all right? But just keep in mind, the thing I love about Tab Performance, once again, options. You have options with the baffles, easily removable, options with the tip, you can turn them any way you want, and options with this Z-Ring whether you want to put it in or not. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for my uh, review of these Z-Rings from Tab Performance. Again, guys, I appreciate you guys spending time with me. I know there's anything you could be doing with your time and the fact that you choose to spend a little bit of it with me, that's always appreciated. Guys, please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to this channel. If you like this video, hit the like button and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I put fresh new videos out. A lot of good information coming from this channel, from Preloader Nation, and you don't want to miss out on that, guys. All right, guys? I want to acknowledge my brothers and sisters in blue, guys. Please be careful out there. I know that you're appreciated. Special shout out to the elite NYPD Highway Patrol, particularly Highway 1, because that's where I worked. And the Highway District, that's where the motorcycle school is. That's who taught me how to ride these motorcycles the way I ride them. But like I tell you guys all the time, this is a perishable skill. You have to stay on top of it. You've heard, you've often heard Loud pipes save lives. You know what else saves lives and way more than loud pipes? Actually knowing what you're doing on one of these machines, okay? So I say that to say seat time does not equal practice time. You have to actually get out there and practice. It's a state of mind. All right, guys, if you have time to ride, you have time to practice. Until next time.